right. I don't know. Yeah. Are you the Uber? Hello there. Is it all right I put this in a cup holder? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So into Hollywood. Thank you. Not Hollywood. <clears throat> oh yes, please. Very fresh car you got here. <laughs> it's very fresh. Yeah. <laughs> it smells of quality. <laughs> there is a cup holder in the middle. You can. Oh, cup holder. Oh, cool. Yeah, as soon as So how long have you been driving Uber for? Uh, I started two years ago. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I was doing it part-time, uh, it's full-time. No, it's full-time. What, what do you like most about it? Uh, that I can make my own schedule. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah so. Now, is this your main job, or do you got a job outside of this, too? No, this is for, for now, it's my, my only job. Do you have a set schedule that you usually do, or do you kind of just go out when you want to go out? Usually during the week I work uh, during the day, uh, like 8 to 6 p.m., 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then during the weekends at night, I start at like 5.30 p.m. or 7 p.m. to, I don't know, 2 to 3 a.m. Do you meet some yeah. interesting people? Yeah. yeah. Have well, you ever met any of your favorite celebrities? Giving them rides? I picked up, uh, yeah, two actors. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Who were they? Uh, one, have you heard about the show Jane the Virgin? Yes. I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that show. Yeah, Gina Rodriguez, the... The dude. No, the girl. The girl? Jane. Jane. She's oh. the... Oh, she's the, the America Ferrero? No, she's, uh, her name is Gina Rodriguez. Oh, I'm thinking of a different person. Oh. Yeah. Either way, they're both but beautiful. They, yeah, but they look, they look alike. Yeah. Yeah, and the other actress, she was not that famous, uh, but she was in a couple of shows. And, oh, cool. And, and then I followed her in, uh, on Instagram, and she was in this movie. Uh, uh, this is a remake of Ocean's Eleven. Oh, with that the was ladies. only girls. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. it was the Asian girl. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And yeah. she was in the car. Yeah, she was here, and we were talking, and what she does, and everything, and then... Uh, Did she tell you about that movie? No. Oh, no. gotcha. <laughs> no, nothing. And, and so so said, you recognized she, her? You just recognized no, her in the no. posters? Oh! No, we were talking about uh, what she does, and everything, and then mm. I, I follow her on Instagram. And then after follow oh. her, I discover all the things she does. Oh, wow. oh, that's what it is. Yeah. She's director, too, and writer. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's great. And it's cool because, like, probably it sounds like most people probably wouldn't recognize her in the streets. She could, she could have a regular life without uh, getting mobbed by the paparazzo. That's right. Yeah. Are you an actor? You no. acting? <laughs> no. What do you, What do you like to do? What are your passions? I, I'm a writer. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, right oh, a screenwriter. Cool. Yeah, I was working for NBC Telemundo here, but I quit because I was working for news. For the news? For the news. And I don't want to work in news right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, right depressing. now. Yeah, it's yeah. very depressing. Uh, actually, I got depressed. And, and also, they changed my schedule very often. And also, I was losing my English. Because I'm from Colombia. I moved here to learn English. Uh -huh. And writing in Spanish the whole time, I was going backwards. My right. Yes. Right. That makes so much sense. So, I, I decided just to quit and keep doing the work. 
I don't know, maybe group next English is driving around. Yeah. Yeah, talking talking about talking about yeah you must, saying. right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing it? Are you working or do vacation? Yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Some of us live out in this area, and um, hmm, we're ar we like to do artistic things. Okay. Some of us are musicians, and uh, we like to make videos and um, multimedia experiments. Oh, cool! And um, just fun, just putting stuff together. It's it's a lot of fun, just kind of kind of creating the art that we want to see in the world. That's cool. Yeah, we're we're kind of forming our own niche instead of, you know, it's so interesting. A lot of a lot of folks will approach from an angle of going, well, okay, this is what's hot out there now, and this is what's hot out there, and this is what's hot out there. Let me write a feature film that contains all these hot button issues, you know, or all these popular things, and then let's do that. But no, we we work from the backwards way. Instead of going, okay, what does everybody love right now, and let's do that. We're just going, let's just create what we're doing, and let's just see yeah, how that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do I love? Yeah, and then as a result of that wonderful experiment, we're finding people who are, you know, tuned into these same kind of things, and, oh, it's just so much fun. Um, last night, we had an event at that place, across from the place you picked us up, and uh, it was so much fun. It was a screening of a movie, and uh, we had music playing there. We had clowns doing some crazy uh, uh -oh. dancing around on stage, and uh, it, it was a great multimedia experience it was so fun to see the different videos up on the screen oh man it was so much fun it was kind of a play too so we had different things happen to the audience while they were watching the movie mm -hmm. so it kind of put them into the movie even more yeah. because the the monster would come out of the screen there's a door <laughs> and the monster would come out of the screen and scare everybody and then run back in like during the movie so it was like this we just added the, all these different little elements it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of yeah. It was a lot of fun. The, on the train oh. over here is like remembering just little snippets of last. Yeah. I'm chuckling to myself. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I know. I get an image and I just start laughing to myself. Yeah. yeah. It was sort of our our first first one that was just like us and it wasn't connected to really any other. Thing yes. Yes. Self-sustained. Yeah. Thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it is it, our first one like that. Too. It totally yeah, is. It is. No, wow. Yeah. This I totally mean, is. Things like the egress thing, which was uh, obviously it had its it, it had its own cinematic universe too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but this is cool because it was like a combination of like you know the three of us have been doing stuff together. And separately for like ten years, so like to like cool. do a show where we're all kind of contributing equally was really cool. Mm -hmm. And then pulling in our resources and just saying yes to it, yes to it. You know, he would say, "Oh, I've got some of these people who does do this stuff. Should I contact them?" Yes, go ahead and do that. He'd have people he wanted to contact. Yes, please go do that. So there was no trying to like now. Hold on a second. Don't you do that because if this this might go wrong. No, it was just pure. Okay, you're inspired. Go, go, go as far with that inspiration as you can. Just go. <laughs> and, and even if things didn't go perfect, they didn't go wrong. Exactly. I love that. That's a perfect way of putting it. That's a perfect way of putting it. Yeah, even if it didn't go perfect, it didn't go wrong. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, my God. We just accepted whatever happened. Even if it was a technical difficulty, a seemingly technical difficulty, there's a lot of just <laughs> improvisation kind of happening. And... Um, it was a very loose and yet very organized. Like, we knew our roles and what was going to happen. That's what was fun. Yet there was so much... Set in place. Yeah, yeah. We had these, like, little dots to connect, but you could really wiggle between them, right? And, and everything had its... Every every section of that place kind of had its own, its own life as well. Yeah. Uh, Artists uh, showcasing their work. One of them had uh, his artwork uh, reflects under black lights. So it was kind of set up in the back of the... Uh, back at the, you know, where we had the screening on, you know, behind, uh, excuse me, all the chairs and such and everybody else, all the other artists kind of set up um, over by, by their little bar and bathroom area, and uh, they had a uh, live, uh, live uh, webcasting, live video webcasting, where a lot of people contributed to that as well. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
And, and when, when is your next uh, project or what are you going to do? Oh, it? wow. How often do you do it? Well, um, it's almost like he's always kind of... You know, I'm, it, always yeah. putting, I'm always putting together uh, like music events uh, around. Uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff over at the Hive Gallery on Sundays. More, uh, on wow. Sundays, probably, uh, probably starting next year. It's a pretty big, big time yeah. gallery. Yeah, um, yeah. Mar Marcel's been wanting to uh, do like DJ, uh, you know, things during the day mm -hmm. uh, on Sundays. So that probably go on until about you know five or six o'clock in the evening. That's cool. Um, and then there's the was uh, there's another place out there, Los Angeles uh, Center for Digital Arts. I think it's over, mm -hmm. over in downtown. That's um, interesting. Yeah, I got another connection that that wants me to to organize shows out there as well. And I oh might my be God. Doing some stuff here. At Sun space and on a semi-regular basis as well. That's, that's what I like LA. I, I live in New York for a while too and oh, okay. that's, that's a lot of things going on there and also mm -hmm. here you, you can see too many things. Different culture, different expression. It's cool. What, sure. uh, what kind of uh, subjects do you like most with screenwriting? Do you like drama? Do you like horror? Do you like thriller? Do you like science fiction? Well, when I, when I started uh, writing, it was kind of uh, drama uh, for short stories, mm -hmm. but I started for only for literature. But when I got a job in a TV network in Colombia, I started writing a comedy. Oh, <laughs> like a, like family comedy. Uh -huh. the, the sitcoms are different there. We don't have the sitcoms like, uh, no, like here, like Friends or mm. anything like that. The sitcoms there is more are more like uh, more realistic. More it's their comedy, but it's more like uh, I just seen this uh, show uh, Master of None mm. on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Aziz Ansari. Yeah, it's not on a studio. It's on uh, real uh, locations, and that—that's the way we they produce there. It's and cheap. <laughs> it's cheap, and and, 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 and and people in Colombia they don't like uh, the studios. Mm. In Mexico they like, and they use uh -huh. studios a lot. And people in Colombia they don't like it, the studios, uh -huh. not for telenovelas or or anything like that. They like it gritty. Yeah, the, the, the TV shows in Colombia are more, are closer to uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, my God. Than, uh, oh, thanks. Yeah. That the telenovela, the soap operas, uh, what is its name? The, the one is running for many years. Oh, yeah. like Days, one, of, Days so, of Our Lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah. one. We, we don't like that kind of uh, productions in Colombia, so we do uh, more realistic things. Mm. And we don't have seasons. So there is only it's just 100 constant. episodes oh. and it, it, it ends. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's so one telenovela is 100, 120 episodes. And, it is, and it's... So finished. is that once a week it goes up? No, or uh, every day. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's every so day. So 100 crazy. days and then that's over in 100 yeah, days. And then a whole brand new one. It's like putting together several movies at a time. Yeah. That sounds huge. Oh my yeah, God, that's crazy. It's a lot of work. And Yikes. Yeah, because I have seen a uh, yikes a series here, and they only have sixty episodes. Uh -huh. And the telenovelas I, I used to work, we wrote more than three hundred episodes for two tele in two telenovelas, wow. in two, yeah. two TV shows. Because it's every day. Uh -huh. Because we don't have seasons really. We don't have season for TV or seasons for the weather, because we are in the near the equator. Uh -huh. So our schedule doesn't work like right, here. It doesn't revolve around seasons. No. So oh, that, interesting. Isn't that interesting? Wow, well, interesting. Like California barely has seasons. That's right. But it's even like less so down there, I guess. Yeah, so in, and we don't have uh, too many sports. We have uh, only basketball. Baseball is only in the north part, and they don't show that on TV. And we, don't, we have uh, soccer, and there is only two seasons for soccer. And they so soccer runs the whole year, so mm. that's that's why people watch TV like telenovelas every day. Uh -huh. mm. Wow! So, uh, how many days are there between when one telenovela 
stops and then when the next one begins? I, I, I actually the same day. The same day, so like the same okay. Same day, so they do a special. They do a special. They run uh, two hours from the. So usually it's one hour hours or thirty day. minutes. It depends. Oh my God. So they do a special for for to connect the friend, the end of the the the, the one is finished. <laughs> ending uh-huh. and the beginning of the next one wow. it's so the same day do, do any of the same characters show up or no 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 it's, it, it's, they're completely different telenovelas but you're are you saying that but you say that they do connect them somehow oh no oh, no just in time just, oh. just in the time so they they finish the telenovela on Friday at 8.30 so mm-hmm. 8.30 to 9.30 is one telenovela and then the new one that's gonna <laughs> replace this one literally just replaces yeah, it start immediately, so That's people crazy. get hooked in, in so the story. Get hooked on it as the, yeah. as the end of the other one. So there's so no, very no smart time. So and, oh my god, and That's the, very smart. And sometimes they they air two episodes from the new telenovela. Oh, to get them even more hooked. Yeah, and more hook, and also they do that on Fridays, Thursdays on Fridays, mm-hmm. and they repeat that during the weekend. Yeah, in different different time. They repeat the telenovela. Oh, so, so, so people, people that missed it yeah, get people, the chance to watch yeah. it again. And, and then on Monday, people's gonna get hooked in the in the in the, oh, the so second smart. or third that's episode. Great. That's yeah. great. They got yeah. like magazines, like TV guides and stuff, devoted completely to these things. Yeah. It's like a huge. People are huge into that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So television that worked different than here. In Mexico, they have a, they don't have seasons. But it's more similar to the production uh, here. Oh, really? Huh. It's because they love our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we love their, uh, we love their late night food? television. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, food, of course. But late I'm night talking about the late night Mexican television food, where it's variety, like the variety just a woman shows. with gigantic breasts the doing women. anything. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, even the... Uh, reporters and stuff they just oh, look like yeah. on the news yeah uh-huh. it's incredible it just seems so exaggerated I, it, uh-huh it's exaggerated over here too when yeah you watch those things but oh like, yeah i guess because it's just slightly different you're like oh wow that's so different <laughs> <laughs> yeah well sofia vergara started as a uh, sports anchor for uh, for Univision. Miami. Sofia Vergara. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah she's Wait, she was a sports anchor? Oh, you said? Yeah. yeah. The only thing she did was running on bikini and <laughs> interviewing Classic. people with a cleavage. And, mm. uh, That's what but she went to uh, she went to the World Cup, the Tour de France, a lot of events. That's Obviously, cool. she had a, like a two or three, three producers doing all the stuff. But oh, yeah, left here. So you're gonna kind of do a U-turn and go back, like where those cars are going. Back, okay. back. So I know. Yeah, no, not that spot, but back there. Well, but Telemundo is uh, is owned by NBC, so they don't they don't allow to to invest that. To do so oh, the like the, the reporters, Jesus, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> they don't, they oh, can't. Yeah, turn right here. Yeah, it's very good. Well, that's just a shame. <laughs> get, get your act together, NBC. Yeah, <laughs> right on this one here. Thank you so much. Yes. This is great. Yes, thank you. We've been thoroughly entertained. Thank you so much for sure. teaching us your wisdom. <laughs> and welcome back. What you just heard there was a <clears throat> was a conversation between Brian Deville, Meat Clown, Consumer Representative Number CRM one one four. He was in the car with us. Our Uber driver. We had to go to Sunspace because uh, number CRM114, he left his backpack there with all of his recording equipment, his cameras, his microphones, everything he needed uh, that he used 
During the screening of Bloody Bobby, what was going on back there was a Meat Clown Value Network. It's kind of like a home shopping network mixed with QVC. You know, you put that stuff together. And it's all to sell the, the buttons and, uh, and or T-shirts or whatever they happen to have in the shop, whatever they have available. And they did one of those back there while Bloody Bobby was screening. So it was great. So during the movie, we could hear the people back there laughing and getting getting loud back there behind the screen. And then while they were back there behind the screen doing their thing, we were back on the other side, you know, causing mischief and mayhem. So every each thing was kind of like reflecting off the other. It, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. So he, he left his bag there. And luckily the, the place is run by a family, wonderful family. And so uh, we knew that it was going to be safe and sound. So we took a, a we took some buses up there and after after the uh, shooting of uh, the K-Chung, which you can hear, I'm starting to upload K-Chung onto Anchor. I used to just upload it straight to Mixcloud, uh, all of the K-Chung episodes. Well, then, the, but that would then uh, deprive you, dear listeners, of hearing the K Chung 1630. I think the, one of the main reasons why I wasn't uploading it to Anchor is because I was playing a lot of just songs. Like, let's say, for instance, we had the Doors episode. So I was playing Doors music, and you can get away with doing that on Mixcloud. On with Anchor, the thing is, you could get away with it on Anchor because it's within the app. However, that app then distributes it to all these other places like iHeartRadio. It distributes it to iTunes. It distributes it to Spotify. So I don't know how that works with publishing, licensing, all that razzmatazz. And um, so with Anchor, I play in the safe zone up to a certain point. If there's music playing in the background, if I walk into a, a club or I'm just in someone's car and they're playing it, I, I don't really turn it. You know, I don't really tell them to shut off that music or anything. I just try to see if that squeaks by. However, if I if I know for sure I'm playing uh, Doors music, you know, maybe that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Like if... Yeah. Anyway, main point is... Main point is... I uploaded our show for, from the K-Chunk Studios with formerly Alien, Crystal's Art Love, Me Clown CRM114... And Brian DeVille, and of course Captain Nicholas, who drove the ship. That was all, I think, on two episodes ago. I think. I think. Now, what you're about to hear is a series of recordings that occurred, occurred during what we call the Batten Down the Hatches tour with Yachtly Crew. So, that is going to be something for you to to listen to. And uh, I'm going to actually go through the files now and listen to them and, and uh, maybe even make more comments uh, during this episode uh, towards other things. Anyway, you're listening to Inspirato Projecto. Are you recording? Sept- September 27th here. While waiting to get our laundry done. Holly Shores is walking down through the through the uh, through the lot parking lot. Wait, this isn't San Martin. This oh, isn't geez, a fancy you're, golf you're a long way from San Martin. Where, where, this is not my where? beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful car. Where are right? we? Where are we? I think this is. Uh, where are we? Oh, Huntington, or as the locals call it, Huntington. They don't Hun- pronounce the T. Hun- Hun- Huntington. 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 Close. Close to the town Bunnington, which is just populated just pretty much with bunnies. That's it. Have you ever seen a b- bunny work the cash register? Uh, you would laugh your socks off. I, I think I would be very hoppy. It, yeah. Very hoppy. I would be, I would be a very, very hoppy customer. Would you be, be a very hoppy customer? I would be hoppy to see that. Oh, man. We're all, dis- we're all uh, wanting to wash our clothes and uh, the washing machine is taken up, so we're 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 uh, working working our brain together here to figure something out. Where are you going to take your backpack? Oh. Well, 
Who, who else knows about this? There's a Ramada Inn out here. Oh my God, I just realized. I stayed here before. When my brother and Monica got married, they put us up in uh, hotel rooms. Wow, and this is it. This is this is that place. No wonder I was having flashbacks of this place. I was like, why does this look f so familiar? Bam, that's why. A lot of the uh, groomsmen, I believe, even bridesmaids, were staying here. This is just incredible. This is the place. I gotta let Josh know. Oh my God, dude. Dude. Oh my God. I gotta get a photo of this, send it off to my brother Stat. We will talk more. Uh, oh, we by the way, we invented it. We invented a name for the, our little tour, the Batten Down the Hatches tour with the Yachtly crew. The Batten Down the Hatches. We have just uh, put our clothes in the laundry. You can hear. You can hear the hustle and the bustle. Things are moving. The jingle jangle of the keys. I thought you were putting them in. Oh, no, you've got. That's the sound of David Bowie putting his uh, detergent. He's going to soap it up right now. He's soaping it. Okay. Listen to the jingle oh, jangle. God damn, $4. What? Why is this one so expensive? Big money, baby, big money. He's playing the slots right now. This is like the industrial side. Like six dollars a year so far, right? How many? How much? Sheesh. Yes. So now we're going to go over to. Um, this is the only laundromat that I've ever seen that has surf photos in it. Now we're going across. We're at the. Uh, coin wash, the wishing well, the washing well coin wash, and now we're going over to, uh, good morning, now we're going over to the, some, this breakfast place, 30 minute timer, to wash up the, wash up the digs, hey, here's, here's craft beer over there. At the bottle shop, bottle shop, and market. It's going to be a long day today, fellas. Going all the way from Del Mar back home. Yeah. After the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, after the show, we're going from Del Mar back home. That's what I've been told. How far away is Del Mar from here, do you think? Uh, for sure. Maybe an hour. Ooh. Here we go. We've entered. We've entered the shack. Now we are uh, encountering these these wise guys. Uh, we will be back. We will be. We will be back. Oh, we will be back later. Ooh. We'll be back later. We just sat down in the booth. I told him we could get him backstage anytime he wants to go. Yeah. You can't go to the show. Next stage. We will uh, talk more to you, you later. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, this is a delayed reaction. Just right on my thumb. 
not, not we are now here. It's not Facegram. We're at, it's not live. We're at Pancakes yeah, Are Us. Pancakes Are You? Pancakes Are oh, You? you oh, snakes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just can't st- uh, kill the beast. All right, we will uh, talk to you more later. More on that later. Did you call me a moron? We are currently on our way from Huntington Beach to Del Mar to play a show over there. This is what we're calling the Batten Down the Hatches Tour. <laughs> Batten Down the Hatches Tour. And it's it's shape it up more and more and more. It's joyful, it's exciting, it's fun. I look forward to more of these kinds of crazy shenanigans. Wow, this is fun. Baker Street! Oh my god, I love it. I love it. We just passed the Baker Street. Oh wow, man. Well, we will get back more to to this later. There it is, Baker Street exit only. Exit 5C, south on the 405. Uh, if you take a photo of a photograph of that of yourself in front of that sign and you email it to inspiratorprojecto at gmail.com, I will in fact feature it on the website. Uh, plus, any photos uh, that any any listeners, if you happen to take photos of yourself at a Yachtly Cruise Show, I'll totally uh, put those up on the Inspirato Projecto website. And also uh, Facebook. we got a Facebook page. And Instagram. Uh, I would, I'll put it out there. I'll put it on the Twitter. There's a Twitter, Inspirato Project. That's another one. All kinds of all kinds of tentacles, all kinds of ways to get a hold of folks. Crowd participation is key in this situation. I've been taking once I learned that on Instagram you can for these short for these movies, you can actually record a series of little snippets, little bits. Little bits. And you, and then it's a full minute, so I could do whatever the heck I want within that minute. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's very, very exciting. I like uh, that idea because people kept yelling at me. Are you gonna play another song? I'm watching my life oh, my unfold okay. before my very eyes. My life, my dream life. We had. We we had a you know the shrimp and the lobster on stage or the crab and the lobster on stage. Then we had the mermaid on the stage. Who knows what's gonna just keep unfolding over and over and over again, over and over and over again. Just gonna keep rocking. Can you believe we're doing this together, dude? I love this, Holly. What what are some of the standout moments from last night's performance? Uh, definitely serenading a mermaid. Yes. We had our uh, first date, and it was, it went swimmingly. It did. Now, uh, did you take, did you, did, did she, uh, did she uh, take you to school? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, we swam and walked because I found out that mermaids can walk. They can, yeah, we saw that happen last night. They can stand up and dance to somebody's baby. Wait, oh, that's it what it was. Was it baby or was it? Your kiss is on my list. Oh, that's, that's what, what it was. was. Yes, yes, yes. Your kiss. The mermaid danced to your kisses on, oh, on my list. How fun. How fun. It's only can just keep, keep rocking. We will... Uh, what, what's, what's a few of your favorite pieces from last night? Well, definitely meeting uh, Shauna from Baltimore because they want us to do their wedding. Awesome. Um, got that nice compliment from the uh, other gentleman who was one of the managers there that said that he preferred our brand of Yacht Rock over any other bands that has recently played there. Known without naming any names. Yeah. Um, 
What did you think of the mermaid? Well, Hannah Bobana, Bobana, Mana, Bobana, 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 Bobana. Oh yeah, Hannah Mermaid. Look her up on Instagram, by the way. Hannah Mermaid. You'll see the, the photo. You'll see the photo that was taken of us with her. What a gig! And by the way, if you I don't know if you looked at her hashtag or whatever, but if you do pull it up, you'll see there are many, many mermaids that are available for rent like that. That's astounding, dude. Somebody's Imagine if we just populate the audience with mermaids. She gets paid to do that. That's her. Like that's one of her jobs, dude. I know of an, one who uh, swims in a in an aquarium. This we could have her too. How fun would that be? It'd be nice if we could haul around a like giant the tank. sirens, the sirens of our shows. Yes, giant whale tanks full of uh, bitches and water. Mermaids. Mermaids. It's all unfolding. <laughs> oh, interesting. What if? There was a mermaid, that did not, the one that's not in, a, in an aquarium. Mermaid, and she's uh, wearing a Yachtly Crew t-shirt and a captain hat. That'd be fun. Or a mermaid with a captain hat. Yeah. Oh, they got the coconut bras, right? Like the, the uh, or seashells or whatever. Uh, those seas, that could say YC on it, even. Or maybe they're the, the anchors. They're the uh, Jolly Roger. Oh, that would be good. The Jolly Roger... You know how, how instead of bras, how women, they'll have those like those little sticker things that go over the nipples? Yeah. What if we do our Jolly Roger Yachtly Crew thing of that? We, we help with your tan, your summer tan. It's like a kind of a... Double anchors? Yeah, the double anchors. The Jolly Rogers. Or YC. Instead of double Ds, double anchors. Double anchors. Here come the double anchors. All I know is that double YCs. the double YCs, the more, the more we just keep dreaming, unpacking and dreaming and unpacking and dreaming and unpacking, the more we just keep seeing it all in front of us. And I got to tell you, this gateway experience stuff helps a lot. I've been carrying the synchronicity stone with me, the the uh, the, the rainbow moonstone with me this whole time too. Of course, it's just. Astounding. These people, this hospitality that we're we're starting to get now is amazing. Oh, I'm, we're passing dinosaurs. Oh, that one's a horse. <coughs> Dolphin sculpture, there it is. <clears throat> what is that? What is that? Oh yeah, another dinosaur. A brontosaurus. That was a T-Rex, Brontosaurus. Uh giraffe. Giraffe sculpture. It looked like just like so interesting. Wow, we heard we heard wonderful things from last night. It's always fun to do a show and then and then tell the stories to one another about the fun the fun feedback that we got from the audience. It's always fun to hear those things. Um, today I was out in the parking lot. I talked to uh, two older gals. <gasps> hot air balloon, dude, off in the distance. Is that a hot air balloon? Dude. There's a hot air balloon off to the left. A Zeppelin? A, uh... Check it out. How awesome is that? Right? That's a rarity. Oh, my God, man. Wow, man. Wow. All right, more, more, more on this later. More on this later. We're about to have our almost famous moment. So, uh, one thing about this song, Joy to the World, it's roughly 1972, 73, not 78, but um, when, I was, when I was a kid, I was about four or five years old, we lived in an apartment complex in a city called Baldwin, Missouri, um, which oddly enough, a good friend of mine just got married and moved there with his new wife, Baldwin, Missouri, of Incredible. all places. Incredible. Anywho, so... We lived in a big apartment complex and there was a playground in the center and some of the buildings were close to the playground and every time this song would come on and no one re could ever remember how did it start but the neighbor had a really loud stereo system and when this song would come on he would turn it up crank it up and i swear he'd put a speaker out on the balcony but maybe that's just something that i've conjured up in my head so we could hear it but if there was 10 kids on the swing set at that point every child would sing joy to the world so awesome. all at the same time 
Yeah. And, you're, so, and you're saying you're swinging together? Like you're we're trying all, to be in sync? We're all on the swing set, and we're all singing in harmony, or as I best we could, this. you know, and I'm like five years old or whatever, so Dude. it's a very early memory That'll for me. incredible, man. Yeah. That's why I always think about that moment when I hear this song. I can visualize it in my head. <sighs> and those were, those were the super tall... You know, steel metal swing sets that you could really get going. Oh you know, like God. you could go like you know, you'd be like thirty feet up in the air by the time you hit the height. Dude. We would swing like motherfuckers, man. It was great. Dude, I love that, man. That's something that someone would would say, "Hey, wouldn't that be cool if there's a scene?" And then they go uh, for a movie, and someone go, "Oh, that would never happen." This this actually truly happened. This is like a total Twilight Zone episode and a beautiful moment in time. It's just showing this the kids just naturally all singing together. And then it stuck with him his whole life. Yeah, dude. Every I hear that song. I think of that moment, swinging the on that power, swing set. Ladies and gentlemen, the power and of music and oh, on the, the, power emo- of the human spirit and oh, mind yeah. and a, and a whole, whole emotional existence. Dude. You know, like all of those sights and smells and how you were feeling that day comes back. Oh yeah, dude. Through the whatever waves are being generated and processed in your here your. Your eardrums and your mind is, it's the human mind is, I mean, we don't understand that what, what, we only use what, 40% of our brains and five percent of our brains? With all of these, all these little wavicles that are kind of coming through. The, the, the universe. And what's so neat with it? And the me universe. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the me universe. The me universe. Yeah. yeah. The us verse. All of the universes. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And the one verse. Two verses. Sometimes a chorus. <laughs> Sometimes a chorus, an orchestral chorus. What's interesting is about what's interesting about the the uh, uh, about the the music. What it does is it leads people to that natural unfolding of the universe, which is cooperation itself. Just that, just that, that good vibes of what that does. Last night, the first. How many songs would you say it was before anyone like even clapped or anything? It was a few, right? Yeah, it was there wasn't a much slow dancing, start, right? Yeah. Okay, so how many into it? Because because this is what I'm getting to here. Is what's interesting is once you warm it up. I mean, the music. I think it took. It, it usually takes a couple of songs sometimes for folks to kind of wrap their brain around what's actually happening. Yes. You know, because they're uh, we, we knock them off balance. We got the lights. It's like hypnosis. We got the lights. We got the the the, the fog machines. The choreographies, and they're and then we're all wearing captain suits, and they're all going, "Wait, what's go, what's going on here? I don't, what what's going alternate on? universe time travel dream cruise that I just oh walk god. onto? Oh my god! No one told me I had tickets to this. No, this pleasure no. cruise. <laughs> right? No yeah. one told me I had tickets to this, man. I didn't know I was in store for this. Um, and then bef- once they start to, then you see them slowly swaying, and then it, and then one person comes out to the center dance floor, and they're like, "Oh yeah!" And they're and they're like just into it. That look. That's my favorite. That oh, my yeah. Favorite. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're out there moving and grooving, swaying and swashing. Next thing you know, someone else comes out there. Like, I think I'm going to go join her. Next thing you know, he's out there dancing. And, dude, it starts stirring it up and stirring it up. And before we know it, dude, it was crazy. Before you know it, they're buying drinks. They're buying drinks. And they're swaying their arms like they're swaying in the wind and the waves. It was so fun. Once they gave up that permission to themselves to be okay with diving into it, and 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 be, and just putting their stamp of approval, going, okay, boom, I co-sign on this reality. I'm just going. I'm just going all in on this thing. Well, it, we give them fun. no choice. We give them. No, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Basically, we give them no choice. You can't. <laughs> but like, well, resistance. To our world. Resistance. Yeah. It's futile. It really is. It is. So either you have to leave the room, the, like yeah. go to a different universe, yeah. or just just be swept away. Yeah. Because oh there's no gosh. other choice. There you're is no other choice. You're either out of the room or you're just swept away. It's so true. Right? Every show is like ends up that way. Yeah. yeah. So much fun to be a part of. Oh my gosh. Even at the Rose, when we played at the Rose, and I think there were maybe six people in the audience. There are more people in the band yes. than there were in the audience. That and happened a couple times. it was great yeah. because... It's still we still put on, you know, like it just really didn't matter. Huh. It was no, just we, so fun. We'll play, we'll play, put on the same show no matter who's there. Yeah. Queen of England, just her in the yeah. room. We're gonna rock her. Oh, yeah. Beautiful face off. Man. Although she'll probably have a, you know, she's no, she's no pushover. The Queen of England. She's no man, pushover. She's put up with those. You know that would be that a huge compliment if she just knighted each one of us she, just by by playing the out record for her. Still alive and kicking. Alive and kicking. 
One of these times, this is crazy. There's, you're going to be listening to the Inspirato Projecto podcast, and we're going to be broadcasting from a castle in England right after we've all been knighted. Sir Pauly Shores, how does that sound? Radio, chap. Radio, we got Sir Pauly Shores. He's been knighted by the Queen of England. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall get back to you much oh, later. One, one more thing I've got to say. Yeah. Bangers and mash. So here, um, I'm following David Bowie up a secret, but this is a, a winding staircase. What's interesting about this is that my Uncle Arnie used to have, wow, walking past pipes going up to the roof here. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible. Dude, this is incredible. How else would anyone get up here except through that? That little winding staircase, dude. This is crazy. If you look at all the old photographs that are down on the wall down there, you'll see that most of the pictures are taken this direction, and you can see this exact same logo wow, design with man. all the flowers. So they stuff. kept it all those years, huh? And there's, there were people up on this balcony, and there's like a million people all over the place while the horses are being paraded through the center oh my ring. Oh god! That's what this whole thing is. Wow, man. Pretty neat, huh? Wow, man. Oh, and is that the bar you're referring to over there? Yeah, that's where everybody's heading straight to the bar. The beach house. Very nice. This place is... Wow. Actually, this is legendary. Wow, man. I was here for Kabo. I think it was in this around this area where I saw Jane's Addiction. It actually was playing. Ooh, look at that. They got a green screen over there, dude. We got to get ourselves over there because who knows what that could possibly turn into. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Those are great. Dave Bowie took a series of, of uh, action photos of me walking through the door. That's great. That's great. This that's one is my favorite. That that's right. Album oh, dude, that's great. The trash can out of there? Oh, my God, I love it. That's oh, a, that is good. That's a winner right there. Oh, that is a winner. Talk about Inspirato. Oh, that is good. Oh yeah, I'll that. Let you crop it to your own liking. Oh yeah, I will. Cr that's a that is a good crop. Get that trash can out of there. <laughs> that's good. Oh my gosh, we got so much of a light show tonight. This is so cool. What do you think is going to be back on these back monitors? Do you think it's going to be us up there, or do you think it's going to be like beach beach uh, scenery, or what are your thoughts? I'm not really sure. I sure would love it if we could uh, if they would be superimposing us up on the back of the so we could watch ourselves playing. <laughs> <laughs> so we could watch ourselves play. It'd be a first. I'm waiting for us to one day get the big screen behind us where we just got the the oceanic waves oh, and everything yeah. going. And that's got to happen at some point. And that would be so nice. But, you know, I, I think that the, the aura of that location being on the runway. Yeah. With that, sorry, with that, you know, that pass-through. Is, is just so historic. Yeah, it's great, man. <laughs> it's incredible. It would be hilarious if we took a giant freaking parachute banner that we have oh, and just yeah. drop it oh, down right in the middle oh of the show. Oh, boy. Do we have our banner with us? I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Oh, my God. Wow, man. This is incredible, folks. Playing all the good music. It's so funny because um, there have been a lot of references to my Uncle Arnie. I've been thinking about Uncle Arnie, and then uh, Polly Shores said something about having a friend named Arnie growing up. And then Arnie was the name of the uh, CEO of CIG, which was the company that hired us for that uh, for that vineyard, Cordeval. And... center it says nationwide oh yeah i think that i don't think that's actually on i think it's actually burnt in <coughs> burnt into the screen like it's just always there perpetually just there all the time well like no i'm sure it lights up and goes brighter but 
like the LEDs are burnt out or something, maybe, or just fried from the sun or whatever. It's crazy. There are palm trees all around. Palm trees dotting the landscape, one would say. I would say. There's even one of those cool, uh, what are those called, Dave? The wind, the, the, it tells you where the wind's coming from and whatnot, right? Like they have on the farmer, on the farmhouses and stuff. Like, uh, I don't know. Wind, uh, wind, uh. Wind direction marker? Wind direction marker. Something to that effect. There's a wind direction it's marker up there. Mill. Oh, they just brought the food in, by the way. Let's go. Food time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to record us walking down the stairwell, too, because it's, it's equally as exciting. Yeah, that's interesting. We walk, when we go past this little spot here with the pipes hanging out. I mean, this is probably made for the jockeys to come up here. Those little tiny guys. Yeah. Stand up here and party. What, do you th what countries do you think most jockeys come from? Italy? Is there a special spot? Maybe Italy. Oh, huh. that's a good that's a good question. That's a good theorem. <coughs> bless you, bless you. So this food is ready for consumption. Oh, that yeah. oh. get a. S Inspirado Projecto What's been happening with you? Haven't heard you around here I got not much to do Inspirado Projecto What's been happening for you? Haven't heard much from you lately you doing anything new?